Hi everyone, welcome back to the Studio Cathy YouTube channel. It's Erica with you today with a very special hop. So the design team and the design team coordinator decided to get together and do a little surprise blog hop to celebrate Studio Katya because it's their anniversary. Yes, seven years in business. I'm so excited to be part of the celebration because I was on the first design team, so like ever. And uh, it's so nice to be back and to be here and celebrating with Studio Katya today because like not only is it May, it's my birthday month, it's Studio Katya's birthday month. And yeah, it's just a good month all around. So today, as I said, it is actually a blog hop. However, I decided to film my card as well to share with you the process of that. But I will make sure that in the description box, there is a link to all of the stops in the blog hop so that you can hop along if you want to because there is a $25 gift voucher up for grabs to the Studio Katya shop as a price for taking part and celebrating with us. And you can get a lot of bling for $25, just saying. So you're gonna wanna take part. But for now, we are going to hop down to the desk, hop down to, no, we're going to get down to the desk and we're going to get card making. Now I am going to be using one of my favorite stamp sets from Studio Katya ever, this gorgeous Japanese peony, because unfortunately my spring release package is still floating around somewhere in the Atlantic. And uh, I will be using my Misty because I want to heat emboss this onto some watercolor cardstock. Now I'm not gonna be using this texture side, I'm gonna be using the smooth side. This is Ranger cardstock, so it's really nice and white. I like that a lot. I am also going to be using my WOW embossing pad and also we're going to be using the opaque bright white super fine detail. So this powder is really really good for when you have stamp sets with all of these fine details because we're going to want all of this to show up and not just being like a white blob. So the super fine is definitely the way to go. Like with everything really. And we're also going to be treating our uh, watercolor cardstock with this fantastic embossing tool from the Rabbit Hole Designs. So that is where it is at today. Now to do this we are going to be uh, also using a mini spritzer and a refillable watercolor brush. So we are going to be adding color with, oh well we also need a little bit of kitchen roll because you know I, I always make a mess. It, it's inevitable. So we're gonna be using Cory Marcus today in bright and happy color. So we got Canary, we've got Amber, and Cerise, Pale Violet, and this fantastic blue, Sapphire Blue, oh, it's gorgeous. We also got a little bit of turquoise, and then Finally, we have apple. So we're going to make a really bright, vivid rainbow. Surprise, <laughs> yes. But these colors really just, oh, they, they're so gorgeous. So I cannot wait to play with them. But first of all, we are going to uh, be preparing our cardstock, pop it into our Misty, and we're going to be stamping up our image with the embossing ink. We're gonna do this twice to make sure that we get a really nice and good coverage. We're adding our embossing powder, taking off the excess, and then we're going to melt that with our embossing tool. And this is what I mean with the that super fine powder. I'm gonna try to show you the details without the flicker and going crazy, but you can see here how with that super fine powder, you've got all of those beautiful little details. So it's not just like a big white blob of color. Now we are uh, going to be using the spritzer very generously. And uh, we, uh, we're gonna be spritzing, spritzing, spritzing to make sure that we got a lot of water on there. And then I'm also gonna be uh, using the, the colors in kind of like a, a, the rainbow order that I put them on there. So we're gonna start in the middle and then we're gonna just kind of dab it, dab it a, a bit of color on and then we're gonna be blending it a little bit so that it is sort of the most concentrated in the middle and it goes out kind of like in a in a very soft look. I've done this on another video with the beautiful cone bouquet as well, but just with another, like a, I think it was just four colors on that one. But here we're gonna go full rainbow and um, we're gonna go be going around. Now these t first two colors I have done in real time. So you can see just how quick and easy it is to add these colors and you know how easy it is really just to kind of 
yeah, just make a card with, with these markers. They are so easy to use. They blend beautifully. They are so vivid and lovely and gorgeous. I, I've become such a huge fan of them. And you can see here when they dry, they, they, they fade a little bit, but they're still so bright and vivid. Now I, um, I, I wanted to add even more color. <laughs> so I decided to add some dots with each one of the colors. So in the yellow area, I'm going to be making dots with the yellow marker in the green. I'm going to be using the green marker and so on and so on. And I don't really know where this idea came from, but I thought instead of kind of going over it again with the same color so that it's just like that sort of color wheel, I just, I wanted to do something a little bit funner. Funner, is that a word? More fun. I am for now, I have a language bar. I'm gonna blame it on that. But you know, um, I, I really wanted to just kind of add a little bit more interest and something fun and maybe something a little bit unexpected. So I thought, let's do the dots. And I, I, I might've gone a little bit crazy, which is so not like me. I know I'm a bit shocked, but doesn't, I mean, didn't that just turn out like really great? I love how this turned out. But I mean, of course I had to add some bling. I, I, I would have loved to have had like little bling, like teeny tiny little blings in each one of these colors. But in lieu of that, uh, I decided to use these gorgeous sparkly iridescent clear crystal gems. So because they are clear, they will kind of pick up the, the color that is underneath them, if that makes sense. So I'm going to be pouring out quite a few into my little tray. And then we're going to also be adding the sentiment. So the reason I picked You Inspire Me is because I really want to make sure that Katya knows just how much she inspires us by keeping on going, even though when things are tough, trying to run a business in a pandemic and, you know, with all of the shipping disruptions and, you know, products, oh, it's, it's just been a nightmare for her, but bless her. But She's here, she inspires us, and I really hope you've enjoyed this video, and I really hope you will follow along with the rest of the blog hop. And that is it from me for today, but I will see you soon again. Bye for now.